Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to the Beta YouTube channel and this week we're back again with Startcast and this is the show where I'm going to talk about three main news stories and this week I've only got one smaller startup that we're going to cover um, but I've actually talked to the community manager of this startup so stay tuned to the end of this um, to hear from him uh, yourselves. Okay, so first up we have Cloud Imperium Games, the creator of Star Citizen 2 and their newly upcoming game Squadron 42 have just raised $46 million in a private venture back deal with Clive Cowder, the billionaire who founded uh, the Zomba Group, which is a music group, uh, for a 10% equity claim in Cloud Imperium Games. Now, Star Citizen 2 initially rose to fame when it launched its Kickstarter campaign in 2012, uh, promising a massive open world universe. We could fly spaceships and do a bunch of different tasks in game. It has its own economy, you can do mining, uh, interact with other players in the community, but promising a really sort of ambitious project. Now, they've spent around $193 million since 2013, and this has all gone into the game development according to uh, Cloud Imperium Games. And this has come from fan events, uh, the subscription based model where you can pledge um, and get certain in-game items like spaceships um, and other just in-game purchases which the community are using to support the development of this game. Now as you can see by this TechCrunch graph the majority of the income that the company has actually made has been from uh, crowd-based uh, support where they're buying in-game spaceships to support the, the development of the game um, and it's kind of odd to me that um, Cloud Imperium Games are actually displaying all this data which um, is quite transparent uh, relative to the rest of the video game industry. I suppose this is a similar trend to what we saw last week with Monzo uh, where we're seeing companies that are crowdsourcing from their user base which is clever because people get in-game items and they're also supporting the development of a game that they want to love and hopefully see the full project come to life. Now Cloud Imperium Games will likely likely use this extra investment uh, to launch their new upcoming game Squadron 42 which instead of a massive multiplayer game it is a single player game uh, where they'll be building a story and it's more of a linear style of a game. Okay, so the next story is a US-based fintech, a paycycle fintech called Earnin, and they have just raised a late stage Series C $125 million uh, investment. Earnin is a US-based startup aiming to reduce the need for overdrafts as a result of the pay cycle. They state that over one trillion of your money or hard-earned money is caught up in these pay cycles from the day that you're being paid uh, to the day that you're actually working. Um, and they believe that this is creating a $50 billion industry for overdrafts and uh, fees on money that you rightfully need now, which shouldn't really exist. So in order to try and uh, solve this in, uh, this industry issue, uh, they've created an app and the system works by downloading the app. You give them your payment information, your employment information and other personal details. And then you just decide when the day that you work, you go, I need X amount of money now. Um, you put it on earning and they d deposit it in your bank account. And then when your actual payday comes, they just take it straight out with no fees, no interest. Uh, it's all done based on the community. And the way that they can uh, do this with no fees and uh, no overdraft and things like that is um, they actually have a tipping system. So if you get your payday early, you can tip maybe one or two dollars. Um, and that basically means that you're supporting the community um, as a sort of a cheaper alternative to um, an overdraft. But obviously there's no obligation to do this. And lastly, on their blog, they stated that this investment will go towards making the product bigger and better and give more accessibility to people accessing their wages when they're rightfully earned. And the last main story we're going to talk about today is with a company called The Wing, which is a female-only co-working space, and they have just raised $75 million uh, in a Series C round backed by um, Sequoia Capital. The female-only co-working space was launched by Audrey Gelman and Lauren Kassan uh, in an attempt to boost female representation in the workplace. The workspaces have been currently fitted to suit the needs of a modern working woman. Currently, they have five offices located in and around New York um, and are looking to expand this uh, to further afield from their New York home uh, to places like Toronto, West Hollywood and even London. In an article written by Bloomberg, supposedly The Wing has over 6,000 members at its current five locations and has a waiting list of over 35 thousand women that want to work at these spaces. The demand for these co-working spaces are evidently there and it looks like the wing is up to do the task. I mean they've received investment from Airbnb and also renewed investment from co-working space giant WeWork. 
And now moving on lastly to the, uh, this week we've only got one small business or startup kind of that we're focusing on um, and that is called Pink. And Pink is an investment platform that is using AI and crowdsourcing to make investment decisions around blockchain and ethical businesses. So currently they have a pool of members that they ask questions to around investment based decisions and then that feeds into their AI that they've custom built um, to tell their traders how they should trade. During this last week I actually managed to have a call with their community manager Isaac um, so I'm going to stop talking and let you and let him give you the rundown on what Pink is and what their aims are. Hello my name is Isaac and I am the community manager at Pink. We are a fintech startup based in London which was formed a little under a year ago. Pink is an investment fund which is dispersed across new money projects, many of which are built upon blockchain technology. Furthermore, we ensure that we only invest in ventures which are sustainable and ethical. Ultimately, we see ourselves as the good guys in blockchain. Our fund stands out from the rest because it is directed by our crowd. The crowd uses our medium to learn about finance and blockchain, as well as make predictions on the market and to discuss new and exciting opportunities for the fund to target. The data is then compiled by our AI, who we call Rose, before our traders use this awesome resource to outmaneuver the market. As an incentive for their involvement, the crowd earns pain points, and monthly, a share of the fund's profits are distributed amongst the point holders. Pink opens the door to everybody interested in finance, and no matter your capability to invest, you can be profitable using our platform. We want to invest in projects which pass our ethical standards to help build the revolutionary decentralized new money finance world. So I believe Pink is currently looking for university campus ambassadors and they'll also be launching their funds so you can get involved in helping make the investment decisions or just placing an investment um, in uh, 2019. Um, but follow uh, Pink on their website below and also check out Isaac. I'm going to leave a link to his LinkedIn. Massive thanks for him for helping me out on this video. Um, but that's it today. I just want to say um, I hope all of you have a very Merry Christmas um, and I look forward to making more videos in the new year and have a great holiday. Thank you.